because people get frustrated because Burley. Well, that's the problem has, though. Then you get people who don't want to do it. People get frustrated. With you. So they got it. Uh, they do. A lot touch judges and other ways that abuse that evidence. Yeah, but all the ones on the Gold Coast, majority of them, they will be doing A grade men, they will be doing A grade women, C grade women, there's so much stuff going on. If they don't have those super season people, just need to do 15 for their 14s, 15s, 16s and 17s. When they're doing the 18s, they'll be doing 18s, mounting into cut, all that sort of stuff. Is it not a possibility that before the game, the referee and the Very biased because they're allocated to certain clubs. They don't have enough touches, enough reps to be touches, so parents have to be the touches from either side. Okay, and so then that referee out there, I said, I'm the touchy, what do you want me to do? And if they're offside, you want me to pull my flag out. No. Well, there's a lot of referees, uh, not referees, but there's a lot of touches. Well, refs aren't perfect. Touches aren't perfect. I'm the coach. I'm the coach. I've got to deal with shitty refs. All the time, I've got to deal with people who aren't doing their job properly all the time. I've got, I've got refs who are very biased on the sides. I've, but the thing is, you just got to tell the kids, if you're going to win, you've got to win against all cops. So you've got to go out there and see your hardest. If the ref's not on your side, you just got to take it and, and just do the best that you can. Well, I'm sure Well, that's what you have to do. It's not. Because there's nothing you can there's nothing you can do to change it. What are you going to do? Are you going to go join the Gold Coast referees and be the new um, president of the Gold Coast referees and go get them to change it? Well, I'm probably too old to be a referee, but I could certainly put my name there to be a lineman. Well, go to, go to the course and then go talk to him and talk to he's the president of the whole Gold Coast right? and talk to um, oh, what's his name? Uh, there's another one. Oh Go talk to them, they're the most advanced referees in the Gold Coast Chelsea. We are just lucky that we've got, got footage to prove what we're saying, whether it be against the no, offside or whether it be kids that are being told by the coach to, to do certain things. Yeah, well, yeah, that too. So on the coach, I went all the way up to Kiri, to played against Lady. You're supposed to sit in one bunker, but I won't sit in that bunker. He went over the other side. He sat there. The, um, what's it called? The ground official went over and told him, no, he's not allowed to. He still sat there. So at half time, they're now getting beaten. He's going to tell his kids, kick him in the head when he's on the ground. Punch him, spit on him, tell him bitches, tell him whatever, whatever. And he knows the ref. So he knows the ref, he knows the linesman, this is a trial. He knows the linesman, so at half time we win. We've come through, we've done a red set, we've run all the way through the side where he shouldn't have been anyway. Talking to him, shouldn't be talking to him in the first place. The linesman comes down and says, no, no, that wasn't connected to him. And he was right down here with the, with the coach. So he can see the ref was in the proper spot and they've turned it around. And then the person who scored it and our captain both said, hey, ref, what was that for? That was right. They both got two. And so then they kicked off to, um, when we got the ball somehow, our, our um, little tiny fullback, she got tackled and was stumped on her head. I've got a girl who's very fiery like me and said, hey, ref, they kicked her in the head and the two girls said, what are you going to do about the refs on our side? And she said, run it again. I don't have to do it. No, ref, let's get into it. And the ref turned around and went, go oh. off. So we were three down, ten minutes to go. They've come back and nearly won the game. Luckily they kicked, they missed their last kick and they won the game. Let's see, that's just one other thing. 
Back stump. Call it stump. Yeah, that's what happens. It's, it's, I've, I've gone up to the top level. Absolute top level coach. I went to um, small school in spring finals for New South Wales with Fresnant School. And the other team did the same thing. They were big little all Islanders. Our, our kids were tiny. Our kids scored the first try. But then the, the whole, their whole thing, because it wasn't finished, it's a finish. Go Dashie! Dashie! The whole sideline of all their support. Go Dashie! Like it's Sam, it's Sam, so back in our day it was... Oh. But this is supposed to be quite safe, Cody. This is run by New South Wales Rugby League. We all had the sign on there, but we will really not swear, we will not punch, we will not do all that stuff. Here's one of them. Oh, hello. That's who you were talking about. Yeah. So, yeah, I was just telling you a little story about Pitlo when he played with me. Punching into five, and all five of us got suspended for six. Oh, six of us got suspended for six matches and kicked out of the competition because Cos Harbour and Sawtell wanted to bring um, Grafton into the group, so they got rid of Pinsy. Yeah, well, this is this is the last of Pinsy going to group two. So Pinsy doesn't play in group two anymore. Well, they, they and I have to say, yeah, and I have to say there has been some shock and sides for Pinsy too. Well, I just remember this one. I was by myself, I just stood with Well, what's this Pinsy Dragons, uh, Matthew Warriors, um... Would it have been Matthew Warriors back then? Would you play when Phil Dropper was playing? No way. Come on, boys, we're in a chase! I don't chase, Mudgy, chase! Go, Hansi! Get up there, Hansi! Yours, Hansi! Oh, yeah. 
Go, Magic! Oh, good Yeah, man, I'm just doing this one for 